Hello children, let me welcome you to the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher. Children, we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, isn't it? Because of that, we are not able to go to school. But that doesn't mean that we are going to stop learning. We are going to meet here regularly through the virtual training center to learn many lessons in EVS. So come on, let's go to a lesson in EVS. So, the third EVS lesson that we will be doing today, children, is a lesson called as Who Fulfills Our Needs? Now, this is lesson number 22 from your EVS textbooks. Now, if you have your EVS textbooks with you, children, please open page number 127 and come to this particular lesson. So, if you remember, we have been talking about our community life. We have been talking about the services which are provided to us in our commu community lives. Okay. And while talking about community life, we have discussed that community life means life together with the people who are living in our surroundings. So it could be people who are living in our house. It could be people who are living in our neighborhood. It could be the uh, friends with whom we are going to school, alright? The friends with whom we travel by bus when we are going to school. So, community life means life with the people around us. Now, among these people who are there around us, there are many people who fulfill many of our needs in life, okay? So, what are our needs also we will be discussing in this lesson. But first, let us look at some people who fulfill our needs. Okay, so like I just told you, no person can live alone in the society. We cannot stay and live alone. We cannot say that I do not need anyone. I can stay alone. I do not need family. I do not need friends. I do not need neighbors. None of us can say that. Why? Because we need people with us. We need people who will help us and we need people who will support us. Not only we, everyone. Okay. So each of us, we need people who will help us, who will support us, who will give us services when we need them. So that means there are many people around in society who help us. Okay. So let us take a look at some of these people who help us. So we have the policeman, these people, the police people, they help to maintain law and order in the country. When there is any problem, these police people, they come running. Okay, then we have nurses. So what work do the nurses do, children? They tend to you when you are sick. Alright, when you are not feeling well, when you are sick, when you go to the doctor, the doctor examines you and prescribes medicines. But it is the nurse who will give you the medicines, who will give you the injections, etc. And then you have the postman who brings mail to your house. Then you have the dentist, the doctor whom you visit when you are having a problem with your teeth. Okay, then there are doctors for animals who are called as vets. Then we have the painters, the builders who help us to build our house, who help us to beautify our house. Okay, then we have chefs. When you feel like eating something, you go to a restaurant and there who is the person who prepares the meal for you? It is a chef. And then in case of an emergency, when there is a fire, we have these firefighters who come rushing to help us. Okay. Then we have people who cut our hair called barbers. Then people who fly planes called pilots and also doctors. So see children, there are so many people in our surrounding who help us. What do they help with? They help us to fulfill our needs. Okay. So think and uh, sit and think whether anyone from your family does any of this work. So what does your father do? Think about that. What did your grandfather used to do? And what would you also like to become when you grow up? So would you like to be a police person? Or would you like to be a nurse, a painter, a chef, a doctor? What would you like to be? What are you interested in? So think about this. Okay. Now let us move on and let us look at some occupations which are given in the 
टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर अस देर आर सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पिक्चर्स एंड दे हैव आस्ट अस टू लुक एट द पिक्चर्स एंड ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई हु दीज पीपल माइट बी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पिक्चर ओके सो वॉट इज दिस पर्सन डूइंग ही इज वर्किंग इन अ फील्ड इज इन डेट सो वॉट डू यू थिंक हिज ऑक्यूपेशन इज हु कुड ही बी हैव यू सीन पीपल लाइक हिम अराउंड ओके सो लेट एस ट्राई टू नेम हिज ऑक्यूपेशन ही इज अ फार्मर द पर्सन हु ग्रोज क्रॉप्स फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल्स फॉर यू ओके अ फार्मर लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी फेमिलियर पिक्चर इज इन डेट नाउ फॉर दिस पास ईयर बिकॉज ऑफ द पैंडमिक वी हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू सी आवर टीचर वी कैन सी हर ओनली ऑन द एप वे शी टीचर्स अस ओके शी टेक्स लेसन्स बट अदरवाइज वी हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू सी हर बट हु इज दिस पर्सन येस शी इज आवर टीचर ओके लेट एस लुक एट द पर्सन विद द नेक्स्ट ऑक्यूपेशन येस हु इज दिस पर्सन नाउ इन द पास्ट वन ईयर दीज पीपल ऑल्सो हैव बिकम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आर लाइफ बिकॉज ऑफ द पैंडमिक ओके दीज पीपल हैव वर्क वेरी हार्ड इन ऑर्डर टू सेव द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल येस दे आर डॉक्टर्स ओके एंड देन वी हैव द मिल्क मैन हु कम्स टू गिव यू द मिल्क एवरी डे either in bottles or in packets sometimes they give it to you directly in the vessel which you have so these are this is a milkman okay so milkmen they come and they deliver milk to you so see they are also helping us isn't it and then there is this potter what does a potter do now it is summer season all of us feel like drinking cool water but then drinking water from the fridge may not be very good for your health so what do we try to do we try to bring a matka home a mud pot and we drink water from that pot who is who are the people who make these pots children they are the potters okay so he is a potter he makes mud pots he makes mud articles out of clay out of mud all right and then who is this person this is also a very familiar face we run many a times to buy maggi to buy coffee okay to buy biscuits so he is a shopkeeper we call him as a shopkeeper all right and who is this finally what is he doing he is feeding he is feeding hens okay so who is he he is a poultry farmer see farmers who grow crops we call them as ordinary farmers but farmers who have hens with them we call them as poultry farmers so these are all the people in different occupations and what are they trying to do when they are doing their job they are trying to fulfill our needs i told you na we have a lot of needs which we cannot fulfill by ourselves we need people to help us okay so all these people the teacher the farmer the doctor the nurse all these people help us to fulfill our needs so what are these needs come on let's take a look so we have certain basic needs for example a need for food for shelter for clothing these are our basic needs without these needs children we will not be able to live at all we will die if we do not get food to eat okay food means water also if we do not get shelter it's very cold sometimes it is very hot sometimes and it is our house which protects us all right it is the clothes we wear that protect us so in case we do not have these basic needs we will not be able to live so these basic needs are fulfilled by all the helpers that we saw now along with food shelter and clothing we have some more basic needs now okay as we are improving see as we are progressing our needs are also going on increasing so let us add some more items to the list of basic needs here so air is of course a very very important basic need without air you will not be able to live at all even for a few minutes okay so air is a very important basic need and then we have water which is a very very important basic need again especially in the summer season now you need to drink lot of water to keep your body hydrated to keep yourself well otherwise you will fall sick okay 
then what is the next basic need that we have food so after air and water the next basic need that we have is food then later we also need clothing we need shelter along with that children we also need to sleep well so see if you do not sleep well if your body does not get enough rest what will happen you will fall sick okay so nowadays because of the pandemic everyone is talking about immunity 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 people are saying so where will you get this immunity from you will get this immunity if you sleep well if you eat well okay and then when you get immunity you will feel safe so safety is also one more basic need of human beings okay so we have so many basic needs see plus in today's modern times there are some more basic needs let us look at them the first one is our need for education all of us need to go to school okay we have the right to education act about which we have talked in one of the lesson so you need to be educated all of us need to go to school all of us need to know how to read how to write how to do arithmetic okay so need to education has also become a very very important need for people and also one very interesting new need is the need for internet now you will say what is the need for internet how are you able to see this lesson which i am teaching you you are able to see it on youtube and when will you be able to see youtube only when you have an internet connection so see children internet has also become very very important today in this pandemic times we are sitting at home and learning our teacher is so far away from us how are we connecting with our teacher through the internet we are buying clothes on internet when shops were closed when everything was in lockdown we used to buy clothes online we used to buy food online our doctor used to give us medicines online isn't it so see as we are progressing as man is becoming more and more modern our needs are also increasing so along with food clothing shelter we also have need for education and need for the internet which is a very interesting need which has come up in the recent times okay your papa your mummy also do not go to office they are sitting at home and they are doing their work how are they able to do it because of the internet okay so these are all the needs of human beings today and who are the people who are allowing us to fulfill the needs it is the people who are part of all these occupations the work that they do for example the work that a farmer does is called as the farmer's occupation so the farmer has an occupation the doctor has an occupation the baker is an occupation okay so we have so many different occupations about which we have talked about now but remember children occupations are also of different different types okay so all these occupations fall under different different types so a doctor's occupation is different a baker's occupation is different a driver's occupation is different so what are the different types of occupations now let us see so we have different types of occupations the first type of occupation is based on nature nature means what everything that we see around us and everything which god has created is called as nature so many types of occupations are based on nature that is they work directly with nature all right for example let us look at some examples now here see farming directly based on nature the people who farm the farmers they go directly to their fields and they dig up the soil they plow the soil they use water in order to grow crops so water soil what are all these things they are part of nature they are all natural things okay so farming 
is one type of occupation which is based on nature let us look at one more occupation which is based on nature fishing so see where do these people go for fishing the fishermen where do they go they go to the oceans they go to the seas they go to the rivers so what are these oceans and seas and rivers they are all natural resources isn't it places which are given to us by nature so that is why there are certain types of occupations which are based on nature so farming is based on nature fishing is based on nature let us look at the next type of occupation so the next type of occupation is called as the manufacturing occupation or based on manufacture so this is a big word let us read it once again manufacture manufacturing something means to make something okay to create something so let us see one example of a manufacturing industry see a cars cars are made what are done to cars they are manufactured okay cloth if you go to a cloth industry cloth is made something is made there okay so that is called as manufacturing industry then we have the third kind of industry which is called as the trade industry trade trade means what buying and selling is called as trade okay and remember one more thing children all these occupations are somewhere connected to each other they are somewhere connected to each other okay so trade and trade means what let us see see this person sitting and selling vegetables he is a vegetable seller he is a trader what is he doing the goods which the farmer has produced on his field for example you can see some vegetables there you can see cauliflower you can see papaya you can see some uh, melons there so this person he has brought it from the farmer he has purchased it from the farmer and he will sell it to people so what is he doing he is trading so trading is one kind of occupation the third kind of occupation and the last kind of occupation is service okay for example when you talk about service you can say that a doctor is providing you service is the doctor working on the field no is the doctor manufacturing something no is the doctor selling something to you no then what is he doing he is taking care of your health he is serving you okay so doctors are a type of service occupation even a teacher you can say is in the type of occupation which is a service what about a lawyer see a lawyer is also giving you service all right so these are the different types of occupations so when you look at them now you know that to live we need all these people we need people who work with nature we need people who make things we need people who trade in things and we also need people who give us service so to live well if you want to live well you need all these people around you okay so these are the four types of occupations i have tried to make it as simple as possible for you so once you look at this picture you will know which are the types of occupation so based on nature manufacturing occupation the trading occupation and the service occupation we also saw a few examples we will see some more examples now when we talk about them in detail okay so let us talk about nature based occupation so see here agriculture what are they doing they are working with nature isn't it plants are part of nature soil is part of nature water is part of nature so they are working to create something and they are working with nature so agriculture is a nature based occupation what about fishing fishing is also a nature based occupation okay 
let us talk about the manufacturing industry now what is being manufactured here see cars are being made here okay cars are being manufactured here so it is a manufacturing industry all right let us look at this what are they doing they are making clothes they are making pants they are stitching pants they are stitching shirts blouses uniforms so they are making something they are manufacturing something it is clothes okay so it is a manufacturing industry cloth making industry is a manufacturing industry okay then we have pot making see what is he doing he is using clay in order to make pots so he is making something all right so it is again a manufacturing industry and then we have the trade industry see this is a very common sight for all of us we have all seen these people selling vegetables when you go to the sabji mandi when you go to the market you see these people selling vegetables what are they doing they are trading see they are not farmers okay they have not grown these crops but they have purchased they have bought the crops from the farmer and they are selling it to you so what are they doing they are trading okay when you go to big bazaar or when you go to d mart or when you go to any store you buy things from there so these things have not been manufactured here what are they doing they are simply trading with you they are selling it to you okay so these are all manufacturing trading industries not manufacturing they are trading industry okay see here milk shop what is this this is a milk booth where they sell milk they sell curd they sell buttermilk ghee paneer etc they are not making any of it over here they are just selling it to you so they are a trading company or they are a uh, they are traders we can say their occupation is what trading all right let us come to the next type of occupation like i told you look at this person who is she she is a teacher is she working with nature no is she manufacturing something no is she selling something to you no then what is she doing she is a teacher she is providing service to you so the teacher is part of the service providing industry okay now people who manufacture things you can see the things you can see the farmer producing crops you can see the company manufacturing cars you can see the trader trading goods but many a times you cannot see the service okay you can only feel it and experience it so the teacher is a part of the service providing industry let us look at the next picture this is what this is a scene from a bank now when you go to a bank they give you so many different facilities they can you can keep your money there okay you can keep your money safe they will give you interest on the money in case you need money you can borrow money from them all right you can also <coughs> return the money which you have borrowed in small 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 installments so see the bank gives you so many services that is why it is part of the service providing industry the various banks that you have all right children so this was about the various types of occupations so we saw occupations based on agriculture or nature okay then we saw occupations based on manufacturing occupations based on trading and occupations based on providing service to people so these are the four main types of occupations out of all of these we say always that the most important of all occupations is agriculture why because many other occupations are dependent on agriculture that is one reason another very important reason could be that we have a certain basic needs like we need uh, water we need food food is a very important basic need okay and imagine if there was no agriculture there would be no food production at all so 
agriculture is supposed to be a very very important occupation let us look at how agriculture is important and then we will wind up this lesson here we have many more points to learn but then i will come up very soon with another video where we will be seeing the other points let us now understand how agriculture is important who is the person who does agriculture he is the farmer so farming is a very very important occupation unless and until farmers work on the field you will not get food on your plate okay we go i feel like eating rice and dal so i cook rice and dal at home now you will say that i do not get rice and dal from the farmer i get it from the trader so i go to the shop and buy rice and dal what do you think from where has he got the rice and dal he has of course got it from some farmer so unless and until the farmers work on the field unless and until farming is not done you will not be able to survive at all because we need food to live food is a basic need that we have okay so agriculture is the most important of all occupations it is also sometimes called as the primary occupation agriculture is called as the primary occupation why because all the other occupations are dependent on agriculture if there is no agriculture the other occupations may not exist at all so see we have so many products that we get that we get from agriculture we get vegetables we get fruits of different types we get lentils we get grains okay dry fruits all these things that you can see on the screen ground nuts dal bananas ginger garlic you name it and we get it because of agriculture so uh, sit for a moment and think about what all things you have done since morning and then you will realize how agriculture is very very important for us so in the morning you must have had breakfast if your mother has given you roti sabji the roti as well as the sabji has come from the fields okay it is because of a farmer that you have got roti and sabji on your plate all right then afterwards you had your lunch even that came from some field so remember children our food basically whatever we eat comes from the fields comes because of some farmer so that is why agriculture is very important now i told you it is called as a primary industry why because see you can see certain other pictures over here now you can see these animals feeding all right and you can see the sunflower there the sunflower gives you you cannot directly eat the sunflower but because of the sunflower you have sunflower oil and then you have the industry where oil is manufactured okay you can see various animals also eating so what are they eating they are eating some kind of plant product so all this is possible only because of agriculture so remember that is why we say that agriculture is the most important of all occupations and there are many industries which are dependent on agriculture for example the jam making industry so you eat mango jam you eat pineapple jam you eat mixed fruit jam so where does this jam come from of course they come in bottles okay but where does this jam come into the bottle it comes from fruits there is see you can see people manufacturing jams over here so these fruits have come from again from the farms okay so see there are many industries which are based on agriculture and they are called as agro industries or agro based industries for example jaggery we all know about sugar cane we know about sugar now during the summer season we have a lot of sugar cane juice ganne ka ras we call it usad sa ras okay so from this us from this ganna from the sugar cane sugar is made jaggery is made so see it is based on agriculture so it is an agro industry what about grapes we eat also dry grapes and 
people drink wine now this wine is also made from grapes so even that is an agro industry i already told you about jam i already told you about sunflower oil so in the same way like you have sunflower oil you have groundnut oil you have coconut oil so where does the groundnut the sunflower the coconut come from it comes from the farms so that is why we always say that the agricultural industry is the most important of all industries because there are many other occupations which are based on agriculture even animal farming some people like i told you na we they do not grow crops but they take care of animals for example they take care of cows they take care of pigs they take care of goat horses sheep for what cows are uh, well fed and they are taken care of for the milk from the cow's milk we make butter we make ghee we make paneer the same thing goes for the goat goats also give us milk and goats are also eaten by people what do the goats and the cows and the pigs and the sheep eat they eat various kind of plants grass etc so now you see how agriculture is a very very important industry so now children let us wind up this video here now now in the first part of this lesson who fulfills our needs we talked about various people who fulfill our needs and also we talked about the various types of occupations and which are the four main types of occupation we discussed occupation based on nature occupations based on manufacturing on trading and finally service and then in this part of the lesson we also saw how agriculture or farming is considered to be the most important of all occupations it is also called as the primary occupation because many other occupations are based on agriculture so that is all in this part of the lesson children today very soon i will be coming up with part 2 of this lesson who fulfills our needs so that is all for today thank you so much So children wasn't that a very interesting lesson I'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson If you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which I keep posting regularly